Parents, students, and school faculty took the opportunity to give their two cents on Iowa's controversial education law. The Iowa Department of Education held a public meeting, a uh, uh, public hearing rather, on that matter. Now that school personnel can be penalized for not following the sections of the law still in effect. Local 5's Megan McPherson has more on what those in attendance had to say to the department. I will receive public comment on behalf of the department and the board. Iowans had their first chance Wednesday to weigh in on the future of Governor Reynolds' education law in 2024. SF-496 is having a real negative impact on students and schools across Iowa. Most of those in attendance were against prohibiting books and the law as a whole. That included the president of Annie's Foundation, a nonprofit that aims to keep banned books on school shelves in Iowa. The result, the removal of more than 500 books, including classic works of literature, science books, and nonfiction titles from our public school system. Iowa veteran Michael Kelly bringing in his own copy of Slaughterhouse-Five, one of the many books prohibited in Iowa schools. And the idea that the state of Iowa would ban a book that is teaching about the horrors of war is a pretty terrible thing. With the temporary injunction placed by Judge Stephen Loker last Friday, that book and many others are legally allowed to come back into schools. But Annie's Foundation believes that districts aren't doing so. We will be trying to pressure school districts to do that while the injunction's in place to return those materials. Those who spoke also argued the language in Senate File 496 is not clear enough to be understood and is instead creating a culture of fear in Iowa schools. There is a fearful undercurrent of being trapped by an investigation further fueled by the vagueness of this legislation. And Stephanie, today's hearing was the first of two. The Department of Education will hold another hearing tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. All right, Megan, thank you.